this uh, story from Axios, Trump's 2025 vision revealed. I already really like it because if you scroll down, it says he's vowing to get rid of Marxist prosecutors. Yes. <laughs> So uh, I love how this is written as a hit piece too. Yeah, and then you right, read right, it, right. And you're like, "Yes, <laughs> this is awesome. This should be that's an in-kind donation." That's the best thing I've heard Trump so, say uh, ever. He that's wants to give the wall. He wants to give the president the authority to hire and fire federal workers. He wants to reward schools that abolish tenure for teachers. You see, uh, uh, they say, blah 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 blah. He wants to uh, defund the Justice Department and FBI. He's vowing to get rid of Marxist prosecutors. He wants the DOJ to investigate big pharma and hospital networks. He wants to use the U.S. military to go after drug cartels and street crime. He wants to eliminate an Obama-era rule requiring cities and local governments to address residential segregation. He wants quantum leap to revolutionize the American standard of his quantum leap to revolutionize the American standard of living includes baby bonuses to create a new baby boom and the design of 10 new freedom cities in the U.S., he wants a, he wants national concealed carry reciprocity. Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> I'm man. like, Axios Take is really getting that. me on board with Trump 2024. I There's, love it. It's written as a hit piece, too. Like, look yeah. at this radical agenda. Meanwhile, every libertarian conservative Republican is like, this is freaking awesome. Like, this oh, is, like, this is just straight up good Trump. Well, this is all good Trump. The, the idea that he would use the military to go after street crime is a little is a little concerning and all uh, uh, insane because that's not what the military is for i disagree i think they're lying i I, I think what we've heard from trump is that the insurrection act should be used against riots and what axios is doing is they're reframing it to make it seem like he's talking about a dude robbing a liquor store which would be i I believe a violation of posse comitatus trump was resistant to using the military to even stop the riots i think what he's saying now is Hey, if this happens again, we'll invoke the insurrection act. Then I won't be too critical since this is a news report about what he said rather than just what he said. But the other thing that struck me was that he wants to give the executive authority the right to hire and fire uh, federal employees, which could be like some psycho could get into office and fire everybody and put all his sycophants in. That's actually my That's favorite good, though. idea. I mean, <laughs> if <laughs> and he then, schedule and, and, F's everyone, yes! I would love that. But, but also, I, I clicked the link. And it brings you right to his stop crime and uh, restore safety. And let me just read for you. It says the uh, this, the once our once great street cities are now controlled by gangs, cartels plagued the mentally ill and drug addicted homeless. Trump will revitalize police departments and reclaim safety, dignity and peace for law abiding Americans who deliver record funding to hire retain police officers, strengthen qualified immunity and other protections for police officers. Increase penalties for assault on law enforcement, put violent offenders and career criminals behind bars, and surge federal prosecutors and the National Guard into high crime communities. The only thing that remotely comes close to using the military for street crime is National Guard and high crime communities. That's something we do. We, we, we do. The National Guard is deployed in extreme circumstances. If the bulk of what he's saying is revitalizing police departments for Axios to frame it as he wants to address street crime with military is a lie. Yeah. Hopefully he's not talking about putting like the National Guard on the south side of Chicago, no. standing on the street corners with AK-47. I think he's talking about when they deployed the National <laughs> Guard to Ferguson when there was widespread rioting. And, and that was Obama who did that. I, I promise they won't have AK-47. You, you, yeah, have, wouldn't be an AK. you have in Ferguson protesting the streets and they deployed the National <laughs> National Guard. When you have certain degrees of high crime, they deploy the National Guard into certain areas. It happens a lot, depending on what that crime is. Yeah, and usually got to ask for it. The, the state's got to ask for it. Uh, the federal government and, and it's the state level you. anyway. It's not something the president does. So with that being said, but Ian, I like that you're skeptical about that. Yes, yes. it is good. I, I was one of the few. I, I'm still getting shit about this when uh, 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 Bukele and then uh, uh, they did these big uh, prison camps yep. for all these gang members. I was one of the few guys, the conservatives are still ripping me for this, but that's fine because I'm not going to change my position. I was one of these guys saying, ah, uh, you really sure about that? We want to round up like five, 600,000 people or whatever and throw them in like a prison camp and we're all celebrating. Like, ah, uh-uh, there's no more like pro cop, you know, pro let's crack down, use broken windows policing guy than me. But, you know, we have to be careful as conservatives who support liberty to not like be like liberals, like the current thingers. The current thing, oh, look, there's a guy down there in South America who's cleaning up the streets. Yeah, well, how did he do that? Like, I can clean up the streets too. Like, I'll hire a bunch of special forces guys to like whack five, 600 bad guys. The streets are clean. But like, have we considered the externalities of that? So I- I'm with you. Like, I'm but, always skeptical when I, when I hear stuff like and, that. And that's good. I agree. But my question is, at what point are you at in a war or are you dealing with a circumstance of uh, uh, market reprisal? So- With the issue of uh, cartels or like in El Salvador, you have extra governmental entities that 
become governments? At what point are you at war? Well, listen, in his, it's, a fair, it's a fair question to ask. At what point are you at war? I, the problem is who gets to declare that then? Right? This I is, mean, this is, this is, because you're asking a good question, but but my question is another question. What happens if you get an Obama then who says, oh, you know what, we're right. at a state of war and these conservatives, uh, they're talking about a stolen election. That's all treason and you're all going to go to jail. So I, I would rather err on the side of extreme caution and have yeah. limits on the, on, the, uh, uh, on the natural vicissitudes of men's emotions than to have this kind of open season attitude. And I well, find what people do is they get desperate and desperation you know, here's the thing. Like, I use this analogy on my show a lot, right? You ever see The Walking Dead before it yeah. went woke? I used to love that show. Then it went crazy and a bunch of wokes or whatever. There's that 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 season where they, they go into prison yeah. to get away from the zombies. And I say to my audience all the time, like, who the walks in a prison, right, and locks the door in? Because the prison's a bad thing. The answer is people who are afraid of what's on the outside. Um, that's who does that. Oh, look, the zombies on the outside are worse than us taking away our own freedom in a prison. That's what worries me about conservatives specifically, you know, I'm not saying like championing what, what uh, they did in El Salvador is, is, is a horrible, if it works out great, fine. And civil liberties eventually are respected, but you got to understand like, this is the kind of stuff that tyrants love. They love to scare you enough because their fear is the coin of the realm, right? That you'll crave this too. Oh man, can't we do that here? And then you get an Obama Biden and you're the one in the freaking handcuffs and you're like, holy shit, that, did I sign up for this? And yeah. that's what happened with the Patriot Act. So Which was the, horrible. So, so the issue that I see is, if principled people are constantly going up against unprincipled people, the unprincipled people will win. People who are willing to, like I was talking about Monopoly, right? If you're playing against someone who's actively cheating and won't stop, but you keep playing anyway. My question is, I, I like what El Salvador is doing. I don't know the, I'm not going to say I know every single detail and every single thing they've done, but they went, I think, like three months without any murders since they started rounding up the criminal cartels. You've got a bunch of people who are actively in these. So, so I'll, 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 let's reframe this into the United States. The left wants to release people from jail. They're saying, you know, this guy was a shoplifter. Let's release him. What does he do? He goes right out right away and shoplifts again, gets caught, starts laughing, saying, y'all caught me the first time and let me go. It's very difficult to know how, how we deal with problems like this at scale. When a country is a lot smaller, there's a lot less people. We're very, very, very libertarian. But the bigger issue at play was a shared sense of community where most people shared religious values and there was a lot less people. When militia meant the local men who would take up arms to defend their community. Now you have a place like New York City where people don't even know who lives next door to them. And so what happens is you get a guy on a train threatening people and everybody just puts their head down and ignores it. No one's doing anything. I'll, I'll, so I'll put it this way. The, the, the solution to this problem in the most extreme circumstances may be the Insurrection Act sending out the National Guard or the army to stop mass unrest in the United States. The real solution is shared moral frameworks, which we don't have. And rebuilding that takes generations. And so it's been destroyed and dismantled over the past couple of generations. It may come to a point where you've got a left that is saying abortion up to nine months, no questions. And we've had these people on this show say that outright. Yes. And I'm like, that's crazy to me. And here I am traditionally in the Democrat camp of pro-choice, meaning in the first trimester or the first six to 10 weeks or 12 weeks or 15 weeks, we'll find that number. Even Trump said something like that. Conservatives saying, no, 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 we're pro-life, no abortion, no matter what. Yet I am more aligned with conservatives in that we all recognize taking the life of a baby that is completely capable of surviving on its own makes no sense. That's just, it's insane. So what happens when you have a state like Colorado where they're actively aborting, I'm doing air quotes here, babies at the point of birth because it's legally allowed? Should the federal government go in and start arresting these doctors and prosecuting them at what point do you then have the left saying you are the authoritarian fascist arresting medical professionals and they frame it the way they want i think it's time for us to um give a big double barreled fuck you to the left 
um, pardon the language here, folks. Uh, why do we give a shit about what the left is saying? So you're telling me that the side recommending genital mutilation, uh, saying we should put kids in shit schools in inner cities for generations that have no chance of prosperity, the side that won't pay a freaking dime in extra taxes themselves, that demands they sit on their fat asses and do nothing all day while you support them through your meritocratic work, that we should take them seriously when, oh, look, you guys are the fascists because there's an infant child that does nothing that's done nothing wrong we're not going to suck its brains out and you want to do something to stop i don't really give a shit what the left says so i i, I don't i'm not suggesting you do i'm just saying like if you want cutesy time and stuff like i'm definitely not your guy because i give zero fucks but about so, that so, so like, this, is, this is the point when do you send the federal law enforcement to go arrest them all in Colorado? See, that's different. That's different. That's a different argument because there is an option there. Like if, if we're talking about, you can't transfer the abortion argument over to that because we're talking about like sucking out a kid's brains in a post-birth abortion, or we're talking about crime and law enforcement. Like we have an option. Why? I lived through it in New York City. So before we send in the National Guard and talk about any military intervention, we could just do like what we actually did in New York. It was called broken windows policing. It wasn't even complicated. They just went out. I mean, we don't have time to go over the whole thing here, but the essence of it is really, really simple. They went out and said, hey, we should just arrest people for doing like crimes. Like it can't be that simple. No, I promise you it was. When I got out of the police department, the whole idea was... Listen, we need cops on the corner. So if you, you see a kid jump in a turnstile in a train station, let him go, Tim. Because you know what? I need you out there. I can't have you processing this kid all night. That's not a dumb idea. You're like, yeah, that makes sense. We want to prevent the robberies and the rapes, not that. Well, what happened? The dude who jumped the turnstile is the guy who rapes the woman. He hasn't paid a fare. But so is, you catch him there. And they cleaned up New York overnight. And this is my point. When Trump gets elected... Do we send in 2,000 agents to start arresting all of the doctors? All of them. They all have to be arrested because they're all facilitating abortion up to the point of birth. If you are killing an infant child in violation of the law, then I'm really sorry, but you made that decision. So in El Salvador, when you've got 10, 15,000 guys in one area who are all obviously displaying tattoos, working as guards, actively participating in in seditious actions yeah then they send in the government and they arrest them all yeah. and the problem is when we get these photos of all these gang members being arrested and you get people of good principle saying like i'm kind of worried about a government going and rounding all these people up now people in el salvador i, I met a guy uh, in dc from el salvador and uh some they were, he was talking to another guy i heard him mention something about it. i said oh, are you from el salvador he says yes and i said what do you think about what's going on and he says I left there a long time ago, but now it's getting really, really good, and I'm going to go back. Thanks for watching this clip from the TimCast IRL podcast. Hang out with us live Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. and become a member over at TimCast.com for uncensored members-only shows exclusive. Thanks for hanging out, and we'll see you all next time.